American great Microsoft could save the day for TikTok fans. It's in talks with the Chinese owners of the app to buy the service in the US. The deal could stave off a presidential ban by ensuring user data stays in the US. Office life today would be unthinkable without Microsoft Word and Excel. But so far, the world's leading software producer hasn't ventured significantly into social media. That, however, could change. President Donald Trump wants to ban Chinese-owned platform TikTok in the U.S. He fears data from U.S. citizens could end up in the hands of Beijing's Communist Party. This could be Microsoft's chance. TikTok is an internationally successful video platform. It allows users to upload short clips of themselves and watch clips of others. Available worldwide, it is owned by a Chinese company, ByteDance. That's a problem for the U.S. government. Trump wants to curb Beijing's influence in the United States. Along with other Chinese companies, ByteDance is under pressure. TikTok cannot stay in the current format because it risks sending back information on 100 million Americans. In China, residents say they're surprised that an app has been dragged into the fight between politicians. I think it's because the U.S.-China relationship has really deteriorated recently. We use many apps and softwares that were developed by the U.S. TikTok has been successful at gaining many users around the world, but I didn't expect that due to political reasons, this could affect the economy and even app users personally. So far, Microsoft's ventures into the world of social media have been limited to LinkedIn, a platform for career professionals. But this deal with TikTok could give Microsoft a larger market share with younger millennials and Generation Z. With pressure from the United States government on TikTok, Microsoft says it's looking to seal the deal by September 15th. Let's talk about that with Chelsea Delaney. So uh, Chelsea, Microsoft reckons by buying up that business unit, it'll have control over users' private data. Right now, TikTok stores the data in the US. Its backup is in Singapore. What's going to change? So this is really the big question, is who has control over, over this user data? TikTok and, and its parent company say that the user data of, of US users is safe, that they, they store it in the US and they have a backup in Singapore, uh, and they would not turn it over to Chinese authorities. A lot of legal experts in the US administration say they don't really buy that because Chinese companies generally have a, a mandate that if the government asks for their data, they do have to turn it over. So uh, this is obviously not just related to, to TikTok. It's, it's become a much bigger uh, security risk in, in the United States, where the United States has a lot of uh, other company, companies it's targeting for, for similar questions. Is this quite a clever deal that Microsoft is uh, uh, drawing up, basically? Because, I mean, it's preempted this ban. Uh, it, it foresees a quite a clever business deal by saving TikTok and TikTok fans at the same time as expanding into social media, or could this all just terribly backfire for Microsoft? Well, for Microsoft and also for the U.S., this is really uh, the best of, of both worlds because the U.S. really does want TikTok to be in U.S. hands. They want to be sure that the user data is safe. It's also extremely, extremely popular right now. It, it has about 100 million users in the United States. So the U.S. does want this to be bought by a U.S. company. And for Microsoft, this would obviously be just a, a massive step into social media where they're not really big right now. Well, what's to stop Microsoft handing over data, though, to the Chinese authorities? I mean, they could do that just as well under certain pressure or if the market segment is very important for them in, in China. Well, I think under this deal, they would they would buy the, the U.S. business, so they would not really have any responsibility to Chinese authorities. Uh, so I think that this would certainly remove some of the political risk yeah. from the business. Could the TikTok fad just as well fizzle out if, if a big, huge company like Microsoft gets its hands on it? 
Well, of course, and we've seen this with many, many other social media companies. If, if you remember Vine, which was hugely popular several years ago, it was very similar to TikTok short videos. It closed after it was bought by Twitter. We also have seen you know, Snapchat really have trouble uh, making a profit. So it, it's not a guarantee that if they do get bought by Microsoft that they'll be able to turn this into some sort of profitable business. Okay, we'll see what happens. Chelsea Delaney, thank you very much for coming in today and giving us that insight.